When I was doing my own research, I found something very very interesting that I had to share with you guys. And this is the use of oil in feeds, when making feeds. And one thing you should know is that the use of oil has many advantages such as it reduces the feed dust so there will be no dust and you know when there is no dust the respiratory diseases in the chicken house will not be will reduce also the use of oil usually improves hydrolysis and absorption of the poor proteins that supply the fatty acids also the oil usually acts as a main source of energy for birds and the, has the highest caloric value among all the dietary nutrients yeah so oil have more energy compared to carbohydrates so its use is very very important also you should know that oil usually enhances the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and that will increase diet palatability so the chicken is able to eat the feeds more easily and also it improves the utilization of the consumed energy also you should know that the oil usually reduces the rate of food passage in the gastro gastrointestinal tract so if the feed will move slowly so that means there will be a better absorption of the feeds so i hope that now you have seen that the use of oil is very very important when making the chicken feeds so i'm going to review this scientific report which is going to show you clearly using data how the use of oil is very very important and we're going to review this research the use of dietary flying palm oil in broiler chickens ration and their effect on growth performance and carcass characteristic so you're going to show you how the palm oil was used by this scientist from nigeria to make chicken feeds and the impact that the oil had in several inclusion levels and you're going to see the inclusion levels that were used and before you get into that please subscribe to this channel i will be happy if you subscribe check if that like button if that subscribe button is still there press that link and then if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for the continued support and i promise i'll continue making such kind of videos which are data-based scientific reports which are going to help you see the impact that this kind of research is going to have on your chickens please press that like button and you can come visit my website agribusinessinsider.com for more information and which is i believe is going to benefit you in a great way so let's get started so they were testing this in several inclusion levels they had the zero percent so there was no the so the palm oil was not included and we should know that palm oil contains the olein oil so when you see this olein oil know that that one is palm oil and again they included now three percent of the feeds and again they they replaced now that one with six six percent and nine nine percent and you should know that when they are adding this they are reducing the amount of wheat which is a major supply of energy so they want to see if they can replace the energy of the carbohydrate with oil because we know that the oil produces more energy compared to carbohydrates so they are replacing they are removing the this and they are replacing it here moving here replacing it here removing here replacing it here so that you can see the impact of the palm oil in chicken also if you if you have already bought the feeds how are you going to add this to your chicken feed i'm going to, to explain to you that through the course of this video and you can screenshot this feed formulation formula so that you can use it at your own time screenshot so that you can go to the next bit of this video so yeah so this is the feed that this was used for the chick for broiler chickens from day 0 to 42 and you can see that we don't have the starter feeds or the finisher feeds it was used cons you know as a whole there was no need to add the broiler to starter or to have the finisher they were using it as a whole so what impact will this have on your chickens you're going to go through this data and we, for this one here we have the initial weight and you can see the initial weight of this chicken 
was about was about 70 75 grams and what happened after 42 days we can see that the ones which had six percent inclusion level had the highest amount of weight which is three which is 2.3 kilograms and also the weight gain you can see it is 2.3 kilogram and we have several points there and in terms of death we can see that the one which had been given the six percent inclusion level had the least amount of death compared to the rest this had a percentage of 2.4 percent but the rest had higher than that even the one which had no which had no the palm oil experienced high amount of death so we can see that the palm oil helps in building the immunity for your chickens also we can see that the that the feed conversion ratio for the six percent is not that below but it is acceptable it is, it is in an acceptable in an in a very acceptable level so let us check other parameters what happened so and, and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to this channel so let us check the the amount of what happened to the carcass characteristic because some markets that you farmers are taking your chickens require you know they buy the heart the liver separately so let us check which of these inclusion levels had the highest amount of weight and we can see that that the one which was six percent had a 21.6 kilogram which is higher against all of these other inclusion levels also the liver was higher in terms of weight and the intestines were high in terms of weight but for the gizzard it was not that high yeah it was uh, it was the third last but the, in terms of abnormal weight the one which received nine percent it had the highest amount of ab abnormal weight which is which may not be required in some markets yeah so so far you can see that the six percent is the one which is performing much better so let us check here yeah, we already checked the this one so let us check the carcass characteristic in terms of the the different parts different meat parts in chickens and we can see for the one six percent it has the highest amount of thigh weight but the thigh bone was the highest in three percent so if we if the thigh bone is bigger so that means there's no muscles enough muscles for three percent so that is why this one six percent has the highest amount of thigh weight and you can see so this it has the highest amount of the drum drum bone drum muscle and the breast had the highest amount of weight but for the breast bone the one it seems that the three percent is only increasing bones you know as we have already seen here in the mass breast breast muscle was you know was highest when there were no palm oil so but also remember that the six percent also it is the second from this so it seems that six percent is made is much better so but we have to check other parameters so that we can have a clear view on whether this is the best also we are going to see whether it was profitable to add the palm oil so what happened to the tenderness of the meat the flavor the color of the juiciness because some markets most markets do need to know you know they, they don't want to buy a meat that may end up not enjoy eating so and we can see that the one which was six percent equation level had the highest amount levels of tenderness flavor color and juiciness which is paramount for every consumer so the other parameter we have to check is that the economics of using the palm oil in our feeds what happened so and this is is that you're going to and this you know sdg is the sudanese gain or sudanese pound so and we can see that the meat sale for the six percent inclusion level meat was the one which was the highest because it was higher in weight and also the the cheap purchase was similar amongst all the groups and also the feed consumed we can see that the six percent was higher was higher but the rest were almost the same and we can also see the profit the profitability in amongst all the inclusion levels we can see that the one which had six percent was the one which was highest so i hope that now you have seen that adding palm oil or the olein oil in your chicken feeds is paramount 
so that we can able to have a profitable business so go try this yeah and i'm going to link this research paper below so that you can if you have not yet you know if you have not yet screenshot this feed formulation formula you can screenshot so what if already you have bought the feeds so how what amount are you going to add in your chicken feeds so for this one as for me i would i would prescribe to you that you should add this vegetable oil in the in the drinking water you should not add this into the feeds because it will be difficult to you to add to the feeds so you should add at least six percent so that is 6 ml 6 ml for every one millimeter of water and if it is one liter of water it is 60 millimeters so yeah but that is my my recommendation but as according to this research you can see that they added into their feeds so you should try adding that as as for this research but if you have already bought the feeds i mean you should try this other method but as according to me so I hope that this video is going to help you and click on this video right here to learn how you can make your chickens grow much bigger by using Moringa. Yeah, Moringa.